remote firmware update procedure. First, go to the machine, then print the configuration page before you update the firmware. After that, go to the computer, open your Google Chrome, then search octopus-account.rico-europe.com, then log in your account. After you log in your account, open the firmware. Go to multifunction machine and select which model you want for update. Select also which firmware you want for update either engine, system copy, or network support, etc. Open this engine, Gen All. Select firmware for remote update, then download. Engine firmware is already downloaded. Extract the file. I created a folder in this desktop, Remote Firmware Update, and I saved my downloaded file inside of the folder. You can also check the engine readme and scroll down. Then you will see the important notes inside of this file. It will clear also lot of service call SC990. And some uh, problem in duplex. Also, SC545 will clear. SC380. And some error for paper jam. So, lot of. Uh, service call will clear after you update the firmware after you download the file open your google browser then type ip address of the machine then log in in web image monitor type here the user and password then log in go to device and management then open the configuration page Click this firmware update, then click this choose file, open this file, then click this update. Then go to the machine and check your update. The machine now is receiving firmware update data from the computer. Please wait. Now guys, the firmware update data is started to run. Please wait. And be sure to keep power switch on during update. After the firmware update is done, the machine will automatic restart. Guys, thank you for supporting my channel and don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe my channel and click that notification bell para lagi kang updated sa aking mga susunod na video. We can continue now to the next step to print the configuration page here in printer pictures then configuration page by checking the configuration page we'll check if our uh, firmware update is success previous update engine is 1.09.02 become current one is 1.10.02 Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.